Um, my topic today is about one of the uh, very unknown PHP tools called uh, the Pugger. Um, I can't think of a better pronunciation, but this actually, they just replaced the debugger, right? The B, right? To PHP. So you can't do punker. I know. So this is, so for now, I'll just pronounce it as the punker. All right. So what is it? It is actually a debugging tool that is similar to the Ruby or Rails by bug. I mean, has anybody of you used Ruby or Rails before? No. Okay, I do. Uh, thanks to Michael Tillich, and yeah, I get to know about this. But PHP, has something similar, and this, and it has some dependency. Uh, PHP 7.0, but I think by now it's depreciated already, so you can move above that. It needs PHP socket. It also needs to have the X debug de activated. So <coughs> please do not use this for production because it will slow down your system. Then if then you also have a plugin for a browser if you want to debug on the web interface. All right. So installation is very easy. You just do a composer require by this guy called Taco Man the Panga. Yeah, you can check it out his um, GitHub repo. He has quite a number of repos with very useful tools. All right. So if you want to make it global, you export on path, and yeah, you can just type the Panga, and that's it. So how do you run it? You just run a very simple command, just php vendor bin debugger to point to the two files that's located, I mean, point to that one particular file that's located in the bin folder. The debugger is actually, the server is actually to run the web, web server. That is if you want to debug a web application. Then the debugger right, is for you to stop the code where you put the xdebug break. So you must run your this application in PHP server. You cannot run it on uh, NGX. You cannot run it on Apache 2. It will not work. So you have to run on PHP web server. <coughs> These are some of the very common breakpoints. For me, I commonly use N and S. That is to go to the next line, and then you step in to the code and see what's going on. Then on top of that, you can actually set the variable as what you want and see does it work. So of course, after all these things, you're done with debugging. You can actually press Q to quit. OK, so now I shall go into a very simple demo of a very simple application. Um, OK, this is actually the application that I have. Um, and then I actually running this um, Docker image. As you can see, it's a debugger. And it runs on a certain host, but we're not going to use the server. We just want to test a script for now. So what I'm going to do is, first, I need to go in. Uh, hold on. Uh. It's, it's too small, right? So I. Cool. OK, you need to have at least um, two consoles to go in. First, right, you will need to go in to the Docker image. All right. After you go in, then you test your application. Is it running? So I have this script and I run. Yeah, it shows me all the details like, OK, I'm the customer. I have $90 outstanding, whatever, blah, blah, blah. OK, so. I want to debug this script. So what I'm going to do is, over here, right, I actually place this code over here. All right. So how do I run this? I will need to open another console. Again, need to magnify it. Go in. Then I will need to first run the debugger. So it's dphp uggr. And before you run that, you want if you want to test like is it suitable to run, 
you can actually first try info. So this info will tell you, is it is SD bar activated? Is it active? Then all you can actually run requirements. Yeah, so checking on dependencies, yeah. 7.0 more is installed, sockets in installed, right? So finally, yeah, you know it's running. So finally what you do is you go and type debugger debug and you will get a listener that will be output from the server or the CLI. So if you look at the debugger, right? Mm, maybe I make this a bit smaller. Okay. They have many, many uh, different, different uh, parameters. So there's a command. So so I run it. Actually, testing a script. It's a command line. So instead of using server, I'm going to use the CLI. So it's the PHP U G G E R CLI. Source main dot php. If you notice, it stops here. Why it stops here? Because I actually put the breakpoint just after the customer can. So over here, yeah, see, it actually displays everything, the code. So I want to go next. So you see, notice this pointer. I point to this. Uh, this print padding. So I point so I go next. The cursor still remain. That's the first next. So next one, right? It goes to print R. It will bring out this pricing. Alright. Then you go next, right? It will go to the next line. So it says my product. So you want to know what is going on in this new product class. So you type S, that is to step to step into the function. So where it goes, yeah, you will indicate to you what's the file name and where it's located. And yeah, you enter into the constructor, you get the price. So you can click next. You can next. So you will go step by step. You get the price, you get out, you go back to the main.php again. So after that, Everything done, you can press C to continue to the next breakpoint, or you can just quit to just get out of the debugger console. So, I mean, everybody of you debugs, right? So, usually, how do you debug? Pringa <laughs> or Excellent. Vadam? Yeah. Mm, yeah, so this, I mean, you just output it, right? And display on the console, but on on the website. But this way, right, it's more refined. As in, you can follow through the flow of your code, especially if your code is legacy or it's very big. So, this tool is more refined. But there's a downside that is you need to use a debug and socket, which is very heavy and tend to be unnecessary. So, I end my presentation here and. Uh, also, right, there's reference. This GitHub link, right, is where you go and see the source code of this debugger. And I actually have a blog on this tool also that I use Drupal, right, to actually do a debugging sample, example of Drupal. Um, and now I'm also pushing the Kit PHP community, right, to actually implement this on top of the debug kit into the Kit PHP framework. So hopefully, all of you use this, I mean, more of you use this, and you know, this more refined way of debugging can be more in use. Uh. Thank you very much. And I open the graph for questions. What is the difference between this one and Xdebug? What is the main difference that I give you? Actually, to be honest, okay. uh, not, not, not much of a difference. It's just this tool is just capitalized on the SD part. I mean, the SD part tool to achieve move it. It's just Try to show you in a more command line way. Yeah. Hmm. So you think you have to have a dedicated tool like uh, you know, web uh, PHP Storm <laughs> or something that could like hook into the the, the, the path 
path. Right? Even then, you can you can only see what is what is at that break point, what is resolved. Uh, we can't really always jump in. It's not very elegant in the way. Then we jump in and out of the of the code. Right? Whereas with this one, it's on the command line. It's n and n and skip to skip or whatever. So it's fairly intuitive. Right? Mm, or continue, continue, add a few breakpoints, continue, okay, nothing wrong with this part, next, go. And yeah. I think at the point you can also use things like PHP, or you can also like figure out what is the, you can just type out like the variable name and probably print out the yeah, value yeah. that's there. It does, it does, it does. <coughs> which, is, which lets you explore, you can also put arbitrary, I suspect you can also put arbitrary. Mm, you can, you can. There. You can actually replace that variable with your variable. Yeah. Yeah, and see how it runs. Awesome, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.